uh, Lorato Glimini versus Sampuwe Vecieka. Uh, what a fight that is. Uh, these two are absolute... Uh, it's youth versus experience again, and these two are stars. Uh, one is a star in the making, one is a star. So a lot of questions, you know, a lot of questions from both ends. You know, you've got a kid who he's young and he's, you know, kind of green, 9 and 1, but very young, very, very hungry for success. And that's always dangerous, isn't it? you got a guy who's turning 37, he's a veteran, he's been out the ring for 18 months, who's been at the pinnacle, wants to get back there, got all this experience, um, you know, he blows hot and cold. We don't know, we don't, we don't know. There's so many questions that, you know, for me, the Super 4 tournament's wide open. Wide, wide open. He's a very good boxer, smart boxer, very clever. He's a former three-time world champion. He's the first person to beat Chris John. He fought with Nonito Dene. You know, he's fought the best in 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 a weight division. You know, so he's very experienced. So I'm coming to the fight as an underdog. With regards to Lorato, he's a very talented individual, and it's only in time is only gonna make things better. This fight's very very early for him in his career. However, it's going to be one hell of a fight. I, I, I can't see the, this fight being stopped at any point. I, I do see it going two points. And, you know, with respect to both guys, uh, it's going to be one hell of a fight. And I can't wait to watch that fight. It's, it's good. There's going to be fireworks indeed. And I can't wait for that. Well, fighting him, you know, it's like, it's a big step. Like, 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 like we said, you know, it's a big step for my, like in my career, a big step up in competition. I don't want to lie to you, but I'm ready for him. I said this before when I fight a Zinga in the final. You know, both young, both coming up, both hungry, man. So it could be a good fight. Yeah, I mean, listen, you know what? Uh, we're definitely the wild card. We're the dark horse of the Super 4. No one's giving us a hope and help, you know? And uh, I think Saturday night he's going to come out and give him up. I really do. So, you know, this is an opportunity. And opportunities in boxing don't come often. Um, and he's young, and he's a dynamic, charismatic young guy, and I think it's a great opportunity for him. So he's ready. There's going to be a different fight. It's not be, it's not going to be the same fight that that I fought against Bam. About Tim Bam is going to be a very total different fight because I'm fighting a guy that's experienced, guy that's very clever. So I have to bring my A game, but it's going to be a very good fight. We'll see. Even in his last fight, when he when he beat the Japanese guy, he looked okay. You know. Um, they say he wasn't in shape, I bet he'll be in shape Saturday night, so again, you know, he blows hot and cold, um, but when he beat Chris John, he was on fire, but that was a long time ago, you know, things change. Action prediction for the fight is that I'm going to win, man. The fight's going to go the distance, you know, I have speed, I have movement, I have power, so yeah, I'm going to win this fight. <laughs>